Welcome back here to the next on Starter League Game 2 between FXO versus... What's their name again? What's the name? Oh, Decrux. Yes, they did, forgot to put their team tags. And well, Decrux, 14 minute GG, 24 to 1. I don't blame them. But hey, FX Open are the rather qualified guys in this tournament. So we're going to see how it's going to be done this time around. Decrux could be a little bit demoralized. Could be. Are they going to whip out the Bloodseeker this time? No, it's going to be Nyx Assassin, going to be the Gyrocopter, Visage, going to be the first pick here from FX Open. And... The... <laughs> story experience. Oh yeah guys, the previous song was Haru Haru. I know you, some of you guys are not really... I've learned that most of you guys just want Huna. They want SNSD. They want... What's his name? What their names in Sister. And... Well... Alright, from now on, there will only be girl, girl K-pop groups, alright? Promise. Yeah, girl K-pop groups. And yeah, I'll pick some of you guys. I don't really want to play Bubble Pop over and over because, yeah. It, I played yesterday, I don't really want to keep playing it. Give you guys a little bit more exposure. But hey, we're going to go into the Dota right now. We'll play the songs later, there's a little bit of a break. And Shadow Demon, got to be banned out here. d -Crux. what are they going to pick? They ban out the Weaver. They are sick and tired of Fabi. They're gonna ban it out this time. It's gonna be the life stealer for FXO. <laughs> and well, Kotal gonna be removed from by FXO. And what what's D Cross gonna pick up? I'm not really sure what they can do because they felt really outclassed in that thing. They didn't really lane it well. They had a good lineup. And dying against Weaver. Uh, very questionable, but still. I mean, <sighs> well, it's a fan. Level 5 at the end of the game. 14 minutes in the hard carry, level 5. Very, very disappointing. But hey, it was just outplaying. I mean, Weaver can just circumnavigate all of them. And he just snowballed a little bit hard. The triple kill at the start didn't really help matters as well. So their Megazord's gonna lose to the FXO's Megazord. TA, meanwhile, gonna be the fourth ban out here. So TA seems to be a big pick here in, in Korea as well. Korea, well, in the standard meta game, we don't really see a lot of TAs. It comes up from time to time, but not much anymore. And still, please Meepo, says a lot of people. I just have to. All right, thank you guys for some of your some some some. Uh, thank you for your support as well as your comments in the chat. I do read them from time to time, and yeah, I will learn. Hope to improve more and more. I well, I wouldn't say I'm a new caster. I've been in here for quite a while, casting a little, little bit of more smaller tournaments here. But that well, Dragonite can be picked up. And yeah, I'm just learning from the pros, LD gods, as well as a bunch of those, the guys from BTS. Toby, AC, just all of them put together pieces pieces here and there and hopefully I can have a little bit of my own flavor as well. So thank you guys for all your support and yeah DK gonna be the third pick up here. So a little bit more tanky this time, probably gonna run him the solo mid gyrocopter. This looks a little bit more savvy against that life stealer. But still, life stealer is not something you can sneeze at. He is a really dangerous pick if you let him snowball. Once he gets up that high level and open wounds, it's gonna be a lot of trouble for you. Flavor, yes, flavor, and <laughs> I am from Singapore. Yep, I'm a Chinese, but I'm from Singapore, and Singaporean Chinese tend to speak more English compared to Chinese. So we are there's some kind of weird mix. I mean, oh yes, my friend did my, my oh yeah, Crystal Maiden. So have a chance to do my impersonation this game if she does pick up a DD. But anyway, like I was saying. My friends described us very well. We're like bananas, yellow on the outside but white on the inside, something like that. I mean, it's kind of true for some of us but not all of us. Singaporeans are very, very diverse, so <laughs> CM, best carry. Alright, so Crystal Maiden, very excited already. One of my favorite supports to watch in the current meta game. So. And. Kotal is going to be removed, Weaver, Batrider, and a lot of these heroes apart from Nyx Assassin will not be able to kill this 
um, CM that well, in a sense, and they are quite vulnerable to early ganks from her. DK, not the best survivor against Magical Leon, so ha has to be very careful. Of course, Crystal Maiden as well as the Visage, they have some great synergy. Crystal Maiden does dish out the most amount of damage at level 2, one of the most, I think, if not the most. At level 2, she does a lot of trial lane damage. Wow, here comes the Omni Knight, the purest of the Thunder Wrath. <laughs> And well, Pyrrhus Thunder Ralph, gonna be the fourth pick here, gonna provide some magical immunity. Not so sure how well it would do. I mean, the Guardian Angel is nice as well against the Life Stealer. The Repel is gonna be great. If you can get those timings off, block those soul assumptions, that will be. Well, that will be great if you can actually get that off. But hey, it is still something that's not really that. Well, Omni Knight doesn't really function well. If he gets behind, it's really hard for him to play because he has mana problems with Purification, Guardian Angel. You can't really cast more than e each spell more than once, and if you over repel, you run out of mana for Purification, run out of mana for Guardian Angel. So, right, Chuck Norris, like you guys say, gonna be picked up here. Knight Strat, not so, but two knights are still better than none. Dragonite Omni Knight Strat. And, well, really want a Pugna. Oh, Pugna is kind of cool, I guess. Pugna will be good against the Crystal Maiden, I guess, and... <laughs> Some of you guys, just... Space Cow? Yeah, Space Cow will be good. Last pick CK, incoming CK. <laughs> Where will they lane it? Where will they lane it? I mean, they could do it. Why not the Sand King? I mean, you have two knights, you need a king. Night Stalker, FXO. Gotta pick up the Night Stalker. Second Night Stalker we've seen in this tournament. The first one fed quite a bit. So we're gonna see if this one does. I, I don't think it will because the previous guy, QO, he played a good Queen of Pain. He's gonna play a good Night Stalker, I can imagine. And DK against Night Stalker is a pretty even matchup. Clockwork gonna be banned out. Knight versus Knight. Bird <laughs> uh, Gang TI4. Yeah, Bird Gang. Pick Abaddon. Fox Knight's Rat. See what you did there. Abaddon, Knight of the Knight. Why will I have Knight Stalker? And, well. Five seconds. <laughs> ben Kappa. That is now pop team, no team name. Well, in the stress of things, you sometimes forget to put up your name tags. Buckner will be great for the Dire team. Um, well, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say that. That Pugna will be great. I mean, Pugna will be good against the Life Stealer, of course, but if you decrypify your teammate while well, he gets so assumed, he's gonna blow up. Brute Mother, gotta be banned out. Not so sure where they're gonna find space for a Brute, but they're gonna ban it out anyway. So, hey, we did see some crazy, crazy drafts and lanings yesterday. It's Warlock off lane. Well, that's really insane. Warlock off lane. Omni Knight, hmm. So, maybe he could be an off lane as well. Warlock was a healer, they put him off lane. Wanna get his ultimate up quick. And Warlock ended up being one of the top farmers that game, so. Warlock off lane, Omni Knight off lane. Gonna see how it's done. And. Yeah, Spider Micro. Tough stuff. Windrunner at, Wind at your service. So it's gonna be the Ranger, or whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. So she's gonna be the Windrunner, and she's gonna be pretty good, I think. I'm not so sure if you can shackle the familiars. But Night Stalker, he doesn't really like Windrunner because it's really hard to ca catch her. She can, she's gonna be on the off lane. She kind of laughs at open wounds as well. But Grave Chill will slow her down quite a bit. And Crystal Maiden. So we're gonna see how well the Windrunner actually does work out for them. Double melee support for the Dire. The Radiant. Queen. Gonna have a lot of problems. No, it's gonna be an FX. FXO is gonna run the Queen of Pain here. So it's gonna be off lane Quap versus the Tri lane or perhaps even the Windrunner. So it's gonna be a safe lane Quap, probably. Night Stalker needs to take the middle. And it's gonna be a Tri lane with the CM. Hopefully she gets the DD. And we'll. She gets the DD. Haha. -ha. And well, very excited for this match. Hopefully it won't be as one sided as before. I really want to see some more balanced lineups. Even if they lose, put up a fight. So, next on Star the League game 2. Between FX Open and Decrox, it is quarterfinals. Loser goes home. Winner will progress into the semifinals tomorrow, along with Bird Gang as well as Eye of Tiger Career. So we're gonna see how it's actually gonna be done here. Go February, double damage, and yeah, she has the DD. It's a mid Quap versus off lane. It's a mid Quap off lane NS. Well, I still think it's gonna be a mid. Well, it could be an off lane NS, I guess. Five seconds remaining. Oh well. Right, got a joke. And go into the game here, no pauses, yay. Right, gonna run through the teams very quickly. Default announced, default HGD. Alright. 
Sagoon playing our hero Crystal Maiden, very pimped up on that CM as well. Captain Bamboo gonna be leading the charge. Anarchy, Anarchy, I mean Anarchy, Visage, Fabi on the Queen of Pain. So this is an offlane Queen of Pain. QO, the solo mid player, will be playing the Night Stalker. March gonna play the Hard Carry, Life Dealer. One, two, three on the Dragon Knight. One SRW is gonna be on the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter, depending on where you come from. Don't argue with your friends, guys. Keep it clean, folks. And it's gonna be the Omni Knight played by Sakari, so they demoted Sakari, so it's gonna be demoted to a support this time. So no more hard carrying for you. And Buyon Buen Kamino, Korean words number two. He will be playing next assassin. So this time they're gonna stick with the creeps, gonna do that triple Korean block, APM block all the way in. And the creeps by the first minute will be only here. So we're gonna see how well they do block up the creeps and yeah, already very aggressive. Very, very aggressive here by FX. Oh, wanting to get that early cheeky first blood. Glacier gonna play on that Windrunner on the off lane. And 10 seconds, still no kills. I see some guys very, 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 very disappointed. But hey, not today, guys, not today. Gonna bring up the last hits. The and we can go into the game. Wins. One, two, three. Calling blade. Oh, very standard. No, not really a bottle rush, I must say. But March, you're gonna see if he snowballs as hard as the previous game. Double, double melee support. They might have a little bit of trouble. I'm just saying, might have a little bit of trouble against a visage, against a like CM. They're just gonna. That's gonna cause a lot of trouble. Fabi's gonna pick up an illusion. That's gonna be good for harassing Glacio out of lane because the illusion does do quite a bit of damage. And now Fabi. Assassin, please don't do this. Please, please. Nope. Cancellation from Sangun, that APM. Working his work. SRW, he's gonna take the frontline charge, picked up the first level in Rocket Barrage, takes a little bit of damage from the creep wave, but still nothing much going on right now. FXO, he's doing pretty well against the Dragon Knight, I must say, but going for first point Dragon Blood, so a little bit of harass proofness. Gonna come out here from 1, 2, 3, he's gonna try and do a little bit of tanking from the Night Stalker. Night Stalker's probably just gonna use his Void to farm right now like he just did earlier. He's going for the bottle rush, he has the money for the money for the bottle right now, so it's gonna be okay. Top lane, meanwhile gotta get harassed back by Visage. His supports can't really do much and like I said, the Illusion's gonna do some harm to Glacior. Push him back, let the Queen of Pain get an early lead here in this lane. So, so far so good. The last hit's 8-1 to one on the Night Stalker, 5-0 on the Dragon Knight. That's the problem with not picking up Flame early on. You've taught in Mechanics 1 that the Dragon Flame does camp, you get last hits. And well, good job to you sir, missing that last hit, not so good. But hey, still okay. Now, gonna get voided up. I like it when he does void the creep, he likes it. He likes it. it just explodes in a cloud of bats. And Anarchy, just gonna be a little bit of a pest right now. And Gyrocopter using the flat cannon, not gonna get too many losses on the tower. Understandable, it's a little bit difficult. He has two slippers though, so. Gonna feel very snugly in that Gyrocopter. And meanwhile, Glacior only level 1 against this level 3 Queen of Pain, so not doing the best here, Shadow Strike, a little bit of pain. Why would you pick Power Shot at level 1? Well, I guess to get some last hits from the offside, but still, 1-0 to zero right now. Haste rune for the Night Stalker, gonna ensure him the 4th fourth, fourth minute rune. Meanwhile, the tri-lane has not fed any kills yet, so I guess they're doing quite a good job. It's very defensive, the tri-lane. You can't really engage with that Omni Knight, I must say. And uh, Flat Cannon not timed a little bit too well. We'll miss a bit of a last hit. They're losing one to the neutral and then losing another one to the NC. So, unable to steal that successfully. He's gonna pull that. Meanwhile, sentry watch. Not gonna block. Oh, wow. Queen of Pain. Solo First kill here on the bottom blood. lane. So, Just a little. finally getting killed there. Not using his TP scroll, deciding to walk back instead. It's like, I'm gonna have a little bit of time to ponder about life and why did I lose to a Queen of Pain? And why did I not pick Windrun? So, they're gonna get burst down. Queen of Pain gonna get an easy, easy first blood. Gonna be on his way to a snowball. Flames on his face. You get nothing. And Dragon Knight doing pretty well, must say. The bottle's picked up for him. Haste Rune's gonna be popping from the from the Night Stalker soon, I imagine. It's the only three minutes. He wants to save it for 340, so he can pop that Haste Rune and lock. And now Frostbite goes out here on SLW. Repel gonna be saving his life there, but hey, Rackley's going out. CM. Is he gonna get it? F X O March. Nick's assassin. What are you stunning? That's your teammate right there. Friendly fire confirmed. And well, right clicks right here. Crystal Maiden gets a kill there, and now a frost 
goes out here onto onto Kuan Kamino, Buon Kamino, Grave Chill, and here comes the Night Stalker flying in, right clicking FXO March, gets the double kill, and again, oh, good job to Praha, gets a multi kill prize, and FXO gonna be stealing some of that pull here. And Gyrocopter, not gonna feel too good about that. 0 4 now, in favor of FXO. Queen of Pain, meanwhile, still gonna be pushing back this Windrunner. Windrunner still at level 1, poor girl. And she's gonna get one right click. Yeah, she gets a last hit, guys. No, she does not. It's level 2 now for her. Regeneration gonna be found here. Anarchy gonna take this time, deward up this Observer. And Sangun, already level 3 on the CM. So we'll see if the CM does remain a 0 kill here. Mastery series, maybe. FXO, meanwhile, looking pretty good. They go for 1 on 1 on the Life Stealer, saving a skill point right now. Haven't gone in anything just yet. SRW. And meanwhile, Windrunner pushed back all the way out of mana completely. Maybe gonna pop some Clarities now. Munching on her last tangle, not using Clarity potions. And while DK gonna bottle crow. Yeah, gonna bottle crow. 1, 2, 3, doing his job. As Solomit, 3, 2 now on his skill build. He's last hits 4 and no. 17 and 1, Visage is 4 and 0, 28 last hits on the Queen of Pain, 22 on the Night Stalker, 17 for the Light Stealer. And wow, Queen of Pain, really? <laughs> Own H from the Sonic Wave, so Queen of Pain stomping over this Windrunner, it's level 2 versus level 7, yeah level 7, so. <laughs> Not gonna go well for you, and SS, SRW gets repelled up by his teammate. It's gonna be okay, but still, the gyrocopter gonna be a little bit slow with that Ven Venom, Venom, or Venom on the life stealer on top of his face boots. Force back once again. Melee supports, not exactly the best type of supports, and well, still looking pretty bad for them. Five for zero. Check out that gold graph. It's four thousand in favor of FX. Oh, three thousand in favor of the XP. And still, Windrunner just got an AFK in the, AFK in the trees there with level 1 power shot, not going to be able to do much, 90 damage, 100 da 120, so 90 magical if you do hit. And Sangun, level 3 now, going to hit level 4 very shortly. Besides, he wants a kill, he's bloodthirsty, got to pull that creep wave away, got to make the creep wave actually push out. Let's see, Captain Bamboo flutter over, look for QO, QO gonna find a haste rune, so another haste rune for him, that's gonna be another nice gang coming his way very shortly. Nighttime pops, 3 2, what, 3 1 2 on his skill build, and let's see if QO gets any kills there, he's gonna fly up top, and this Night Stalker has an urn, he's gonna be very tanky, Dragonite's gonna make the charge up top, and he's off to look for. Dyer's top tower oh. is under attack. They see the Night nice Stalker here, they're gonna go for a little bit of a camping trip. Sakali, he's sitting at level 2, 1 repel, 2 purification, SR, he's at 4, level 4, Nick Assassin level 3, 1 point of mana burn, and I think they're gonna dive the tower here. Gyrocopter pokes his face out, wrong idea here, repel, gonna save his life, but still, is it gonna be enough? Good body block him to Sakali, I will sacrifice my life, healing comes out, March, might have overextended himself, flame breath goes out, but no, the void blows him up, and it's a double kill for Epic, so another kill goes away, good shackle shot here from Fabi, but it's a level 1 shackle shot, not gonna do too much, still 8 for 0 right now, Sangun, freezes up Glacio, Glacio gonna get poked, Rin Run, gonna save his life, QO pokes him out there, and it adds a whole lot of storm, 10-0, the no kill strat, Showing his face once again. 10 to 0 now in favor of FXO Golgroff. 7.5k XP. 5.2. Sagun, not managing to die there. So good job, CM. You go. And QO, meanwhile. It's gonna be right kicking down. And well, the siege creep. Gonna push back a little bit. But still, like I said, guys, not very strong lanes coming up from not coming up from the D Crux. And FXO just gonna be rolling face with this Night Stalker, snowballing really hard, unlike the previous one. 3 0 right now, sitting pretty. Dyer's top tower Getting a triple kill there does help him a lot, and he's gonna bash down tower. Nope, Dyer's gonna let the creeps have it, because they, they're the ones dying the most here on the Radiant side. 1 2 3, meanwhile. Still gonna take this time, farm up the creep wave, blow fire at a bunch of creeps. And, well, not having the best. best game of their life I must say, 10 to 0 now. They did get one kill in the previous game, gonna see if they actually do manage it Radiant's this time around. We'll keep our eyes up here on Crystal Maiden. Gyro picks up a poor man's shield, so eh, not the best item, but he'll take it. Any block is good block. It's 10 damage block for him because he's kind of a range hero. 
with that range nerf taking effect, 10 range less, that's gonna not that's not gonna help him too much. Void goes out here on DK. DK is gonna be a little bit more careful. Here comes CM. Earn Grave Silence. Great stun here on Sangun as well as the Visage. Soul Jungle flies out. Secured. 11 for 0 right now. And FXO taking a very strong lead in this game. Life Stealer just gonna have a ball of time. Stick charge 1.6k gold, gonna go for the armlet. Maybe a Shadow Blade if he does desire for that. Radiant takes a tower the bottom lane. Fabi going for a Dagon. Please do it, please do it. Please do the Dagon. Day's going for Dagon. Fabi is doing it. And drums immediate here for the Life Stealer. And CM gonna take the front lines. Frontal Assault, Anarchy. Doing a pretty good job as the Visage here. Yes, Dagon! Queen of Pain, you my hero. You my hero. And they're gonna go for Roshan. Wow, that early, really? Medallion flying in for the Visage here. Nope, still in his stash. So whoever use that. And they're gonna even throw Soul Assumption here onto the Roshan. But hey, they know that Roshan's up. They're gonna try and contest it maybe, but no. Is there a flat somewhere? Why is he getting life steal? Probably that's just an own charge as well as stick charges. And here we go. There's gonna be a Roshan contest. Is there gonna be a Roshan contest? Not really. Just kidding. Power shot does reveal the fact that they are going for the Roche. Frostbite goes out. And we gotta get that. And open wounds on Roshan. They'll get it now. And oh, whoa. Nice impale on Fabi. And QO, QO. They're gonna engage. They're all stuck at four. Gets hot. All in the Sonic Wave. They got immediately blows up him. Blows him up. And now it's 13 to 0. And now Gacio. He's trying to run away. Gets hot. By the Soul Assumption as well as the Frost Nova. And now who's this last guy? This poor guy. DK. You may be the you may be the Dragonborn. But still, you cannot take on a bunch of heroes like that. Fabi. Double kill, mega kill, 15 for 0, loving that new piercing indeed. Well, Aegis, who's it go on to? Queen of Pain? Yeah, Queen of Pain gets that Aegis. And, well, we're looking at Race with GG here, I must say. DK, not opting for any points in Dragon Tail because it's cheap using a tail to fight someone when you can use your face, you can use your maw, you can use your jaws, use your flame breath. Thank you, and meanwhile, 4 points in the Arcane Aura because why not? And well, his friends are gonna have a lot of mana regeneration. Scream down the street wave, tier 2 goes down for the Radiant. A lot of one-sided matches early in the morning here in wherever you're coming from. I guess some of you guys 6am for you, some of you guys 3am. Not so sure about the timings, but 15 0, 11 minutes in. FXO looking to break rackets here. And well, QO. He's just gonna farm up the street wave, looking pretty fly. BKB very soon for him and well. Extend the night time, man. Nah, too mainstream. So he's just gonna farm up the creep wave, go work towards his BKB. Does he have it? Nope, doesn't have it just yet. But still, what a game, guys. What a game. 5 p.m.? <laughs> Some of you guys, is this low priority? I mean, give them a little bit of a break. FXO are clearly the experienced ones. And while well, look at that. BM, BM, report, please. I mean, communication ban is always good. I mean, let's get something. But nope, it's CM. We're gonna have to go. Repel on the Dragon Knight. He's immortal. He's gonna go. Science up on Sakari. Down is extended. And DK gonna right click it. As I'm gonna bash your face in, Quap. Nope, Repel goes down. He gets blown up. 18 to 0. Are we gonna see 26? Are we gonna see 26? GG called out here from Glass Zero. So it's 2 0 here in favor of FXO. No 26 0, but 18 0. We'll take it. We'll take it. And well, GG. We expected this to come very early on. And well, 20k go difference exp 12k so clearly our class is the crux they'll be taking a fall here in the squad final of this next on start leak what hey do not fret when we see bird gang clash with the rest bird Dying gang eye of tiger when they start clashing with the rest that is when we'll see a lot closer games hopefully that's the case and well all the players dc out very manly and we're gonna see the throne crash very shortly here so GG, 18 for 0, 12 minutes in, breaking the record once again, FXO. Very quick games, and we might have a very quick day today <laughs> here in the next on Star League. Next up will be the Kellogg Tiger Power versus Symphony. So we're going to see how it's actually going to be done. Now we're going to have a lot of time for music as well, and you guys are all requesting for songs. But hey, FXO, we're going to play a Korean song in honor of their name. So we're going to have some FX coming your way. Meanwhile, Radiant Victory. Radio victory for you guys, and if you like my casting, follow me on twitch.tv slash Nora. I need about 190 more likes before I hit 500, and that's when I'll be giving away keys, compendiums, couriers as well. Uh, couriers include Elgato and 
an IG courier. So you guys just go like, do your stuff, and I'll be right back here with the next best of three. Hopefully with gods. He's a little bit busy with NLG right now, but hey, uh, he might be coming. Join me later on. And 18 for zero. Wow, radiant victory! Congratulations to FXO for progressing into the semifinals. Follow me on my various social media, and I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Stat screens for you guys want to see it, and I'll see you guys next game.